Hello, this is Darren at Encryptomatic. Thanks for your interest in PST Viewer Pro. This short video is designed to give you the basics of PST Viewer so that you can get up and running very quickly with the product. Well, after you start PST Viewer, the first thing that you need to do is just select the folder that's, that holds your EML, MSG, OST, or PST files. I've got some email files on the desktop. I'm going to click on that. PST Viewer immediately reads in however many files that you have. To open those files, all you have to do is click on them. This is an MSG file. And I can also double click on it. And PST Viewer Pro will open it up in a separate window if I double click on it. I can have multiple windows open if I wish. I'll just close that for now. Also on my desktop, I have a PST folder. Let's expand the PST folder. If I want to take a look at sent items, I just click on the sent items folder. If I want to read in all the files in the PST file and search them all, I can go to the top folder, right click on it, and check switch to scan with subfolders and PST, PST Viewer Pro will go to work reading in all the emails in that PST file. So once the messages are read in, again you just select the messages that you want and for those that, uh, that you want to take a closer look at, just double click on them and they'll open up in a new window for you. So now that you have your emails listed in PST Viewer, a quick way that you can search them is just to click on the search button up here in the upper right corner. And PST Viewer will begin to search your files. Now that we found our emails, there's different things that we can do with them. One of the most popular uses for a PST Viewer is to export email to PDF. And we can do that with the export button. So uh, I can just select a couple of emails here. I can select them all if I do control A or I can select them individually if I just <clears throat> if I just hold down the control key and click on the messages. And I go up here to the export button. And in the Export Manager, there are uh, a lot of different options that I can choose from. Uh, I can export uh, to PDF files with the attachments embedded as files. I can include the attachments uh, as part of the PDF image. Uh, I can extract the attachments as I create PDF files and put the attachments in a separate uh, folder. I can export as HTML, PNG, as uh, uh, MHT, text, uh, CSV, bitmap, J, uh, JPEG, all kinds of different uh, options here. Um, there's also some, some options to, uh, to copy messages to, uh, to a folder structure if you like. So there's, there's a lot of different options uh, for how you can process those messages using, um, using PST Viewer Pro. Let's uh, go ahead and export these files with attachments included. PST Viewer will ask me where I'd like to put those files. I'll just stick them on my de desktop here. My desktop is cluttered anyway. What's a few more files? And then it goes ahead and uh, uh, completes the export. Let's take a look at my cluttery desktop. Here's one of the PDF files that we just exported. Let's open that up. And you can see it includes uh, uh, the pictures. The, uh, the header information is included at the top. a little closer here. To 
print those messages, I can just go over to the print button, click on it, and PST Viewer will begin printing those email messages for me. I will get the uh, the printer select printer dialog box. In this case today, I'm just going to cancel that out. If I'd like to do a more in-depth, thorough search than I had just performed, I can click on the search function here. I can do an advanced search. And I can include uh, a combination of criteria such as from, subject, header, text, um, different uh, different formats like that. So there you have it. We appreciate your interest in PSD Viewer Pro. Hopefully this will get you up and running very quickly. Have a great day.